I want to know what we what what the interest rates are going to do for property values going forward. My, my my thought process is that most areas of the country will will probably level off and stop growing so fast. I don't think we're going to see. This is my opinion. Obviously, my crystal ball is broken. I don't have one, so none of us know. But I don't think we're going to see a massive reduction in house prices going forward. Although some areas that had hyperinflation going on, your Las Vegas is, your Southern California, and actually where we live in Florida, it's, it's been crazy that we may see a little bit of a dip there. But I feel like it's just going to level out for a bit and be more normal where, where when you sell a house, listen, when I first, Amber and I first started in this 0708, I put a house to market and it would take two, three, four weeks to get a contract on it. Now, everybody who just started flipping a few years ago is so like, oh, well, I, I got my offer. I got 12 offers in the first day. You know, you flipped three houses this year. You've had crazy, right? Yeah, it was, it was you know, 25 showings in the first weekend and yeah, a bunch of offers. I think that's going to stop. I think that's mm -hmm. going to come to a much, but we still have an inventory problem, don't we? Yeah, we, 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 we do, you know, and that's kind of what I was saying before, like, will this interest rate, you know, change really do much to inflation? Because again, that's why they did it to stop inflation. It, we tie it into the housing market because that's what we do. But the goal is across the board on inflation.